Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another Spirit Monday. Throughout the course of this day, I am going to be dropping a few videos, mostly teaching um, spiritual things. Now, at the moment, there is a battle between self and spirit. And when that is occurring, due to emotional baggages you can't allow that to stay and so what i'm trying to do is to awaken spirit to give it dominance over my day and so i am preparing something that is going to not just heighten and uplift the vibration but to center me for what is very important is you cannot allow grief to take root to the point where spirit becomes silent. So what I have here is what is called star ains. Star ains and my bay leaf. So I set it to boil. I'm just dropping about six. I'm keeping three whole and I'm breaking the rest. And there's a reason for that. And then I'm going to add, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to be adding some bay leaves. Not only is it going to change the atmosphere and the space, it is going to do something for me to balance me out, to bring about peace. I'm adding one teaspoon of cinnamon, the most powerful powder or herb or spice there is. And I'm going to set this to boil. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to turn off the heat. Let this cool. I'm going to put some in a spray bottle. And then I'm going to let the rest dry. Dry out completely on the stove. Not only is it going to increase the vibration, it's going to alter that state of mind. It's going to create the kind of atmosphere that I need to invite peace invite love now the reason why i added the cinnamon to this anything any intention you have must be activated with cinnamon powder there are other things you can use but the cinnamon powder is the most potent most powerful activating force in any spiritual practice I don't feel like talking. I'd rather just sit in silence. But when you have work to do, you must do it. There's no excuse. You can't say I'm feeling bad today. There is never a time when you can make an excuse not to meet with spirit. Not to relinquish those fears and hurt 
or pain or any kind of suffering. You can't use that to distract you from going back to the source. Because the thing is, if you're not connecting with spirit during the hardest time of your life, then who is going to get you through it? How will you get through it? And so when you're making a concerted effort to connect, you'll be surprised to see how the word comes from different people or, you know, source. You could be walking down the road and you could see a sign on a bus that reminds you that you're not alone. Reminds you that you are loved and you're protected. So today, um, when you see me on camera, I'm going to be looking at herbs and spice and some of the uses of it. But in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most dark thing that I see, and most dangerous thing that I see, and most scary thing that I see in our community is listening to black folks when they are, you know, speaking spiritual nonsense. Talk about the blood of the blood of their slave master. They they throw the blood of their slave master on each other. And that blood, the blood, you're cursed. Every time you open your mouth and you say that you are a curse to yourself and your next generation, you're cursed because you would choose to use that energy to try to attack your own, your own people. Who taught you that? Where you ever got that from? The blood, the blood. First of all, understand the power of blood. If you are talking about life force, as the blood courses through the veins, you know, what is more powerful than that? The blood passed through in the semen creates DNA and human life. And then you think of blood that passes from a woman and it no longer serves her. That's destructive. And those who are into blood sacrifice, that represents death. So to add, when you use your mouth to call out, you notice I'm not saying the, the rest of that statement, the blood of whomever I refuse to. I only say that name if I, you know, it's a bad habit when you're frightened. And those of you, who, for you, that is your God, blessings to you. As an African woman, never under no circumstance could I try to evoke that spirit that came from demonic and devilish acts and activities. Are you mad? This is why I'm assault. This is why you have generational curse because of the words that you speak, the incantation, and not knowing yourself. Now, none of the stuff that I'm telling you here, I read in a book. No. Stuff that my ancestors or my guides bring to me and show me in the spirit realm how to use and what to use them for. I'm already starting to feel the heaviness is starting to lift from me even as we speak. You're cursing yourself. You are cursing yourself and your next generation with the things that you're saying. And uh, in, in today I want to, you know, share a little about how to start reversing some of those spells. A little. Because um, I am sort of coming out of that cocoon. You know, becoming the butterfly. Mm -hmm. It's a new day. Sometimes someone has to die for you to live. 
someone has to go to sleep so you can wake up. Sometimes pain, when activated, is serving more than just one function of making you cry. It's to waken you. Stop with the blood of this and that. It's nonsense. Nonsense. And the truth is, I'm going to be honest with you, the people who like to throw the blood of this entity, they are often very evil, to be honest with you. Especially when you see them lo use it loosely. And, and, you, and you love to say, no weapons that form against me shall prosper. Wh why would they not prosper? What's going to stop it from prospering? You know, what are you doing to stop it from prospering? You just talk the thing. It just sounds good. But a lot of you are not either religious or spiritual. That religious spirit that you're presenting is not even really religious spirit. Because there are people who have a kind of religious spirit that are very powerful. But some of us just imitate and just regurgitate. It's so annoying. Anyway, we're going to stop this for now. Until later on today. Stay blessed.